know if you could see those. <laughs> those are poblano chilies. This is an onion. This is a can of red gold. Petite diced tomatoes. This is rice. Okay, now this over here, this, yes, this would be a meat grinder. Okay, I bought a roast a while ago and I've cut it into about one or one and a half inch cubes or so. And I am going to grind my ground beef. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to grind that ground beef. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I ground some, some pork butt with some sausage, some Italian sausage seasoning in it. And I've got some of that. I ground a whole bunch of it and I've used some of it, but I, I just froze the rest. So I've got some of that in the freezer that's, that's already frozen. So I'm going to thaw that out and I'm going to combine everything together. And I am going to make stuffed poblano peppers and they're going to be delicious. I like those a little bit better than bells. Now they have a little bit of a kick. Now they don't have a whole lot of kick, but for the size of the chili, uh, they do a really good job. They make an excellent stuffing uh, pepper. So that's what we're gonna do, so let's get started. Here's the, here's the beef, and I just got it out of the freezer. And it's not, it's not frozen, it's still got some squish to it, but it's, for the most part, it's very, very cold. They recommend it to be just, just under frozen when you go to grind, and that, that makes sense to me. Uh, it's not so gummy when it comes through the machine. And there's a lot of pressure uh, involved, which in turn, to a degree at least, it heats up you know, a little bit. It kind of warms and, and thaws the meat. So anyway, um, I've got my little, my little pusher dude. Uh, this fits down in the hole and pushes the meat down into the into the worm gear that's down inside here which forces everything out of you know the worm gears down in here and then it forces everything you know out the die so and then this little end right here this is a wrench that you can use to remove the head so you can clean everything so enough about all of that i am going to start this thing up I'm going to put it on like four, and I'm just going to start taking taking pieces of beef and just throwing them in the just throwing them in the old hopper. You'll see what's going on down here. You know, you always hear the rumors. You, know, you hear all the hearsay about what's in your ground beef. Well. I can tell you what's in my ground beef. It's almost finished. This is the ground beef that we just did. And it looks fantastic. Uh, I know that the camera changes it some, but this looks really good. It's really lean and really good. This in here, that is the sausage I made a few weeks ago. Folks, if you have a KitchenAid stand mixer, get get the meat grinder attachment because this is like this is good, okay? I mean, this is good. Anyway, so let's say a pound of each pound of Italian sausage, pound of hamburger. There's about a tablespoon of oregano in here. There is about a teaspoon or more of garlic and then salt and pepper to taste uh, like that I didn't put really anything in here that's going to be like hot hot because um, the peppers themselves are going to provide a great deal of the heat okay over here with the rice the rice isn't quite done yet uh, it's still a little al dente okay for you guys that don't know what that means uh, you can bite into a kernel of rice and it's still just a little it's got a little snap in the middle I uh, did that on purpose because I'm going to pour some of this rice into this bowl and it's going to finish cooking in the bowl and it's going to absorb some of that juice down there. Hey, here we are. I forgot to tell you earlier, there was about a half a cup of, of diced onions as well in the mixture. 
here's the mixture I have left. Here's what's in all of the poblanos. And you'll see that these are going to be swimming in like a lake of cheese. Uh, I had a partial bag of cheese left over and I thought, well, let me just go ahead and throw it on here. And I'm getting ready to put them in a 350 degree oven. Uh, and I'm just going to check on them. I'm, I'm going to shoot for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to check on them and see, see what's going on. So check back with you. Bye. Thank you.